Archaeus World Mode and how to use it. So what the heck is World Mode? It's this big diamond button you see in the middle of the menu screen. This game mode contains maps where you can progress to get your words such as songs and partners. This is also where you get to level up your partners to maximize their stats. To access world mode in the mobile version, you need to make an account. Do note that you need to connect to the internet to play world mode as your progress is automatically saved online as you play. For the Switch version, you can play world mode even if you're offline. So how does it work? You select a chapter and go to an open map of your choice. Upon accessing the map, you press music play in order to select a song. After playing, the game calculates how far you'll get to progress through the map. Keep playing until you reach the end of the map, then the cycle repeats. What sets world mode apart from music play is that each play consumes 1 to 2 stamina. Due to this, you cannot retry the song you're playing. You can opt to quit, but you cannot recover the used stamina anymore. Also, as you only have limited stamina for every session, your time in world mode is limited as well. Trying to get something could take long periods of grinding. On the Switch version, however, you do not need to spend any stamina at all when using world mode. Though, yeah, you still have to grind a lot. World Mode has different chapters where you can find maps that provide different rewards. Currently, there are 6 regular chapters with maps that you can access anytime. At the left end, there's the extra chapter where limited event maps appear. At the right end, there's the beyond chapter. This chapter works differently from the rest of World Mode so I made a separate video about it. Most of these maps are for paid packs or songs, but there are a few maps that you can access for free with fragments. How do I tell them apart? All free maps require 1 stamina, regardless of which chapter they're in. Well, except the latest map in chapter 6 for some reason. On the Switch version, we have 5 regular chapters and the chapter at the left end of world mode is the DLC chapter, where all maps related to DLC packs are located. Most maps are closed off once you get all the rewards, but there's an infinite map in every normal chapter. You can replay it even if you completed it already. These can be unlocked by completing a certain amount of steps in that chapter. Yeah, this can be overwhelming at first, especially if you're new to the game. There are many maps to go around, so which one should players grind first? I'd recommend going for the map with some rewards first, as having lots of charts to play can give you much variety and experience. Each free map has 1-3 to Archaea pack songs you can get. You can save the course for later, but if you want to give yourself a head start for higher levels, then why not? Stamina works similar to the energy system in idol games. The game can only refill itself up to 12 stamina at a time, where 1 stamina can be regenerated every 30 minutes. You can refill 6 stamina at a time by either refilling 1000 fragments or 50 memories with the former having a 24 hour cooldown. Refills are doable as long as your stamina bar isn't full so you can actually have more than 12 stamina at a certain time. This will be tackled later in the video. So what exactly does world mode give me? First off, after every play, you can get fragments, and the partner you're using gets EXP when at that max level. Then each map can give you at least one of the following rewards. Songs, Partners, Awakening Cores, Fragments, Ether Drops, and Scenery. Songs, Partners, and Cores are usually located at the end of the maps, while extra fragments and Ether Drops can be found in between as you progress and get closer to the end, and sceneries are obtained from infinite maps. Now as you progress in world mode, you'll likely land into tiles with specific conditions in it. These are restriction, random, and fixed speed. Restriction tiles force you to choose from a specific list of songs to play. It can be one song, it can be a certain song pack, or it could be sorted to a central theme. Random tiles have a random song picker. It can pick on a specific pack or choose from all songs you have. You don't know what you'll get until the shutter is closed. Fixed speed tells restrict players to play at a specific speed, usually set on something as low as 1 to 2 speed. And oh, I almost forgot, we also have stamina tells where you can get free stamina. Jump over these tells and you'll get to escape your worst nightmare. And yes, that also includes the free stamina. How far you progress in the world mode is determined by the rating of the song you played, which is your result rating, multiplied by the step multiplier of the partner you're using, plus partner skill bonus, and boost multipliers. 
Progression in world mood is dependent on your partner's step stat. Partners with step stat of 50 and above can increase your final world result while lower than 50 step partners decrease it. Divide the stat by 50 to see how much the partner you're using can affect your progress. Information on the step stat for all partners is available in the Archeo Wiki. In addition to that, there are partners with skills that can boost your world mode progress. Awakened Eto gives you free memories from her memory forest. Just kidding. If you're gonna land on a tile with fragment rewards, she adds heaven to your world result. Meanwhile, Awakened Luna gives you extra steps when you start on a restriction tile. So if you want out of that restriction immediately, she may come in handy. We also have Awakened Ayu. She can give you up to an additional 5 steps per play. Or minus 5 depending on her mood. Now, grinding world mood can be slow and painful at times, and there are options to make your progress faster. We have memory boost where you can multiply your progress by 4 times for 50 memories per play. Also, all maps requiring 1 stamina have a boost function called Play Plus, allowing players to progress even faster by giving options to play one song with either 2, 4, or even 6 stamina. This is made to not only help new players progress quickly, but also to level up partners faster. Because, yes, these boosts also apply to partner levels. Fragment boosts are also available with Play Plus, where your progress can be multiplied with these multipliers. But then, these boosts won't apply to partner levels. To conclude this section, there's not much in this map, but something important you need to know is that you can never step downwards no matter what. The lowest result you can get is zero, which makes you just stay in place. In case you fail with the hard gauge partner in world mode, your base step would be 2.5. Now here are a few other things you might need to know. First off, I know you're all curious, which partner should I use for world mode? New players have two default partners available for use, which are Hikari and Tairitsu. So which one performs better in world mode? It's Tairitsu. At the maximum level, she has a higher step stat, which means that she'll give you more progress than Hikari, and therefore you get the songs you need faster. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't use Hikari for world mode, especially if you're struggling to clear charts with Tairitsu. Also, as said earlier, what determines a partner's performance in world mode lies in their step stat. For fast progression, you would like to, of course, use the highest step partners you have. Partners that have 100 step and above, equivalent to twice multiplier to your world mode result, are generally the recommended choices for this which are Lete, Brillante, Grievous Lady Tairitsu, Illit, Regulus, Summer Illit, and Tempest Tairitsu. The last partner I mentioned has the highest step stat in the game at 160, but there's a catch. The last 60 levels is a bonus that comes from leveling up other partners. For the Beyond chapter, progression is determined by the over stat instead of the step stat. More information can be found in my video on the Beyond chapter. But oh well, if you don't mind not rushing for content, then feel free to use any partner you like. If you wanna make sure to level up everyone, well, why not? After all, you cannot level up partners outside world mode without auto drops. And this brings up to my next tip. As you progress to the game, you'll end up running out of world maps to play on. That's where infinite maps come in. Utilize these looping maps to gain extra fragments and EXP for your partners. For free to play players, you can unlock the infinite maps in chapters 1 and 3. The others either fall short of required steps or are restricted with paid paths. Now, how do we complete limited events efficiently? Limited events can be found in World Mode's extra chapter, and they usually last around 1 to 3 weeks depending on how much rewards it gives you. With the highest step partners on max level, it can take about 1 to 3 days to complete entire maps. But what if you don't have a high step partner? Can it still be completed in time? The answer is yes. I actually don't usually use the highest step partners I have to complete events, and I still manage to finish the maps with time to spare. First thing is, try to play every time you get a chance, or whenever your stamina gets refilled. The game can notify you when your stamina gets fully regenerated, and you can activate that in settings. You can either wait for the notification to come or set alarms for yourself. It's up to you. But yeah, just keep playing and you'll constantly climb up to the top. Also, make sure to have fragments ready for that daily refill so you can get additional progress. If you're in a rush or you have little time to play, you can opt to refill stamina with memories or use memory boosts if you don't mind spending extra. But if you just don't have the money, 
The fastest option for you is to keep using the highest step partners you have and play the highest difficulty charts you can score well on to maximize the steps you get. You can also opt to stock up extra stamina beforehand so you can give yourself a bigger head start in the event. The Arkea Wiki has info on getting the maximum stamina possible, but this time, I'll save you a click and show how. The maximum amount of stamina you can repeatedly get is 21 stamina. Before doing all of this, you have to grind the infinite maps on chapters 1 and 3 up to the tile before the plus 4 stamina tiles. You also have to have 11 stamina before grabbing the extra stamina. So you can either wait till the stamina bar reaches 11 or play once in world mode using 1 or 2 stamina. This is also best done at least one day before the event map opens, so you can still use your daily 1000 fragments refill when your stamina gets emptied. Upon having 11 stamina, use the plus 6 stamina refill with fragments or memories. Then, play on the infinite map in chapter 1 and land on the plus 4 stamina tile. Then, play on the infinite map in chapter 3 and land on the plus 4 stamina tile. And poof, you now have 21 stamina. But then... How do you land on the stamina tile? Well, if the stamina tile is at a high step like this, then just play any song with any partner and you will surely land. But if the stamina is at a tile with low step like this, then here's what you can do. Upon reaching a few steps away from the stamina tile, you can go two ways on your next play. Either playing a lower or higher level song with your current partner or sticking to your current difficulty range using a different partner. This is easier said than done. You can either try to calculate in advance with the formula I showed earlier, or just cheese it and pray that you won't overshoot. When this is done, you can now play the song and boom, you've landed on the stamina tile and earned yourself an extra play in world mood. These methods are also applicable for getting out of restriction, random, and fixed speed tiles if you wish to do so. Now last but not the least, the most important thing you need to have when grinding world mode is patience. I know, we get intimidated when we see big step tiles like this. It may take a while to get the rewards you want as you're only limited to a few plays at a time. There's always the option of spending extra money but in case you choose not to spend more, you can only take smaller steps. But oh well, it's better than not doing anything, right? You can always continue grinding when your stamina gets refilled again. If you ended up not finishing limited maps, or failing to get the event rewards, or just missing the event at all, don't fret. Limited events are usually rerun later on. I know, more waiting, but yeah, that's how it is. Also, limited partners original to the game are more likely to rerun than the limited stuff from collabs. You can watch out for future announcements on Arceus official social media pages. And I think we've reached the end of this video. Thanks for coming and I wish you all luck on exploring new worlds.